Yo, what is up, PPL fans? Shot here, coach of the Bayern Munich, and welcome to PPL Week Four, uh, Season Four, Week Four match. Uh, this week we're up against Sam Fufu and his Newcastle United. Um, battle will be late, just because um, Sam doesn't have Wi-Fi currently, so he's trying to figure that out and hope that he will get it by the start of the upcoming week. So somewhere around upload day, which is Monday, um, hopefully. So that's that. Uh, this is the third time in a row my video is late. Second time that it's just something on my opponent's part they have no control over. So no one really to blame for. Uh, for week three it was kind of my fault. But again, nothing I could have done. because nothing, mu nothing much I could have done at least because I was away uh, for the weekend. So uh, with that out of the way, this match is really, really important. Uh, I think Sam is 3-0. I could be wrong. But the most important part is... Um, that we want to first up, we want to climb up the table further. Climb up the table further because we're now two and one. Uh, when we're five on the table, I'm gonna put the league table on the screen right now, as well as the Golden Pokeball Award because we have someone in there. Clefable is currently number two, right behind Paul's Manaphy, and that's pretty spicy. Um, so yeah, but the really really important part is if you weren't around for last season, I'm gonna explain to you real quick. Uh, last season, Sam and I went into week five, both four and zero, uh, both undefeated. Both incredible performances up to that point. Uh, if I do say so myself, I think I can say that because I had some really strong matches. I was number one. Yeah, I overtook him in week four um, in the league table. And then we played. We had our game. Uh, I pretty, I built a pretty decent team in my opinion. Uh, and I was in a very good position. I just had Brain Dance with a Manaphy. And he crit me with Mega Blastoise. And I died to a crit, which I would have lived. I would have rest up next turn. And a full health Manaphy with Call Mind. And everything would have been great. I had a chance to win. A very good chance at that point. But then every chance I had just disappeared because of a crit. Uh, there was a lot of other bullshit in the game. That was just my fault. Like in first game. We had to restart. And in the initial game. I didn't die to an HP Grass from Mega Blasters. And I got a huge crit Grass on off. And it restarted the game. Because he had a level 100 Jirachi on accident. And I didn't live and I didn't get damage off of Mega Blasters and that was huge so just a lot of bullshit a game that I honestly think I should have won uh, but hey that's the game we play that happens uh, <laughs> Sam also played a great game not gonna deny that at all um, it was a weird game I think none of us played our best but we still played really good and now we're looking for fucking revenge for that game last season um, and I don't I don't care how I win, I just want to win. <laughs> so, uh, my team hasn't changed, I'm still not making any transits, I don't plan on making any. But, uh, Sam's team, as you can see on screen right now, it's uh, Starmie, Sylveon, Roserade, Mandibus, Talonflame, Mega Agron, Haxorus, Golurk, and Lantern. Uh, rather small roster of uh, 9 Pokemon, I think. Yeah, 9 Pokemon. Um, and a really interesting team. If you want to look down his stats, he has 3 strong special attackers, that's how he started off his his draft and he has a lot of not strong special attackers at all like he has three just really strong physical attackers he has Talonflame which is a good physical attacker even though it isn't particularly strong but uh, it, it does damage it's a very good Pokemon uh, it just lacks a bit of power off the bat but his team is a little weird uh, a lot of the, a lot of the things aren't super versatile um, like he can definitely pull out some gimmick stuff but nothing is like super crazy. Like Starmie is probably the most versatile thing he has on the Intel Flame. Um, so that's that's kind of there. Uh, his speed tiers are also really weird. I want to say very favorable for me. He has 126 Talon Flame, which is going to click Brave Bird anyway most of the time. Uh, he doesn't even need Felibus against Martina necessarily. Uh, unless he wants to hit Lucario for a little bit more damage, which I can definitely see him do. Uh, and Starmie at 115. Which speed ties with my second fastest mon in Sneasel. Um, and then he drops down to 97, which is a pretty decent speed gap. And I have a couple things in there with Latias uh, and Simisia. Um, and then he goes down to 90 and then down to 80, which is Mandibus, which generally doesn't run much speed, or at least not max speed. Uh, so he has a couple weird speed tees there, but uh, overall, still a very, very strong team. Uh, he's 3-0 for a reason because these Pokemon, while they're not very versatile, they're very strong. Sam is a fantastic player um, and he's a very creative player. He knows how to team build, he knows how to play. Very experienced in Pokemon in general uh, and has now gotten a good amount of experience in draft format as well with three seasons um, behind him. So, with that being said, um, let's get into my team that I'm bringing. 
Uh, if I can do the do, beautiful. Uh, yep, that looks pretty perfect. So, um, first up, we're bringing Anubis de Lucario once again. I'm probably just gonna bring this thing every week because it's just so fucking good. Uh, <laughs> we have a Lumberry variant with Justified as the ability SD, Close Combat, E Speed, Iron Tail, Max Attack, Adamant 148 Speed. And one, uh, 148 HP and 108 speed. That's a very, very bulky Lucario. Uh, it does not outspeed his Rose Rate, or doesn't speed her with Rose Rate either. Um, I don't remember what the speed was for. It was probably there for something. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was like, I think it was like Max Speed Sylveon, Max Speed Lantern. Something like that. If he wants to bring a very speedy variant of either of those, I'm probably going to speed. I'm going to double check this after the, after the recording and see if there's anything else I want to outspeed. But uh, this should be all I need. Because it also means I have a very good amount of bulk. I can actually live like a bandit outrage from Haxorus and set up an SD on it. Uh, if it's weakened, I can, you know, SD and then kill him with E speed. Um, yeah, a, a lot of HP investment also allows me to set up more easily on things like Mandibus. If he doesn't have HP fire on Rose Red, I can live a hit and SD on that. Um, if Sylveon's locked into Psyshock, I can set up on that a little bit more easily. Uh, Starmie, I think I can live most hits. Um, Depending on his set, depending on his, uh, his items and his items and whatnot, uh, I can set up on Lantern, which is one of the main things I want to set up on because I have the Lumberry, so I can. I don't have to worry about Scald or a T Wave potentially, uh, discharge whatever it may be. I can even live. I can even live a hit from Talonflame, and with the Lumberry, I don't have to worry about getting burned. Uh, again, I don't expect him to have playables necessarily, uh, and if he doesn't have that, I can live. Uh, I can SD and I can E Speed him potentially. Um, you know, very specific scenarios, but those can definitely happen. Uh, Lucario is a huge win con. If Talent Time is worn, worn down, I can E speed that thing as well. Um, and yeah, the thing is just really good against the team. I am, I'm packing Iron Tail because it uh, deals with Sylveon, because Sylveon is a huge, huge problem to my team. I don't have anything outside of Needle Queen can actually take a Specs Hyper Voice, or can take it reasonably well. Um, so yeah, Iron Tail is very nice for that. It also Oko's Golurk at plus two, so I don't have to pack Crunch or anything for that. I can also get random defense drops if I somehow, for some reason, want to rely on that, which I won't because it's not what Lucario does. Um, so yeah, Lucario just looks strong in this matchup. I have a lot of HP, which is nice, and Lumbery to prevent burns and TOFs and whatnot. So uh, next up we have Overwash, the Rotom Washed with the Lumbery as well. <laughs> Levitate has the ability, Hydro Pump, Will Wisp, Volt Switch, and Pain Split, Max Max. Pawn special attack. It has a talent flame. I need Rotom Wash. That's just very simple. Um, Will Wisp over T Toxic. I was considering Toxic, but Will Wisp also allows you to status the Rose Rate. So it's not a completely free switch unless he has Natural Cure. Even then, he gets some chip damage off on himself, and that's very nice. Um, Paint, Swip is, Paint Split is very nice because his best switch in outside of Rose Rate is Lantern. And Lantern is a very high HP set. I can wear that thing down because it's very annoying to my team. I can wear that thing down and get a lot of health back because Rotom has very low HP in base 50. Was it 50? But yeah, it's 50, right? Yeah. And Lantern has like 125 base HP, so um, I will get back a lot from the thing. <coughs> also fairly sure that he is bringing Lantern because it is a hard counter to Mega Pidgeot, which otherwise does really, really well against this team. Um, it also um, deals with Rotom Wash. It can take a hit from Lucario potentially, depending on my set. Uh, it can take any hit from Sneasel. And it deals with Simisia, which is actually a pretty big threat to my team. And I know you're seeing that there's a Simisia. We'll get to that. Uh, Lumberry is there because he's gonna have Toxic and Mega Aggron. There's no possible way that he's not a Toxic Mega Aggron when I have a Rotom Wash. It's just not possible. It's not happening. Uh, he's 100% bringing Mega Aggron with Heavy Slam, Earthquake, and Toxic. Last moves either Stealth Rocks if he doesn't have them on Golurk, if he is bringing Golurk, um, or T Wave. I don't think there's any room for him to play around with Mega Aggron this week. Uh, he could pack like Head Smash to try to do down short and watch, but that just seems very, 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 very silly to me. Um, like the only thing he can do is Toxic me. So Lumberry is very nice for that. It also means that uh, if the Talon Flame, which is probably going to be a Will O Wisp variant, knowing Sam, he always brings a Will O Wisp Talon Flame, he always brings bulky Talon Flame. I don't think last season PBI brought anything else other than a fairly bulky Talon Flame. Um, Different variations, but always bulky. So, uh, getting rid of the burn is going to be very nice. I had Rocky Helmet. I was playing with left. I was a lot of suggest a lot of thoughts, uh, and then Dolce was like, "Yo, just run Lumberry." It's like, ah, that doesn't seem bad. So I just it's Lumberry. Uh, might still change it to left. I was. I'll see how I like it. Um, I'm sorry. I just breath, breath, breath blah, 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 blah. Yeah, mic noises. <laughs> I'm terrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, Rotom Watch, very standard, uh, very standard, just 
answer to Town Flame. I don't know why I'm talking so much about it. So, next up we have S Death, the Nino Queen with the Black Sludge, Sheer Force as the ability, Earth Power, Rock Side, Poison Jab, and Stealth Rocks. Uh, max, pretty much max defense, uh, max HP, with relaxed nature and a little bit of speed, so I can. Uh, I have Speed Lantern if he isn't uh, heavily speed investment, which he could very well, very well be because he can still beat um, the guy Mega Pidgeot if he isn't max bulk, so he can very easily run enough speed towards Speed Uninvested Nido Queen, and he'll be fine. But um, I wanted the Life Orb Nido Queen. Life Orb Sheer Force Nido Queen does so much work to his team, but I need a switch into Sylveon, and this is set switch into Sylveon. Um, Specs Hyper Voice does not tree kill me with the Black Sludge even after rocks. I can poison jab him to the face and almost knock him out in one hit. Uh, his wish passer is Sylveon, so he's not going to be able to get health back on that thing reliably at least uh, if they hit him with a poison jab. Uh, rock Slide is there to, for the Talon Flame because this is a secondary check to Talon Flame because I OCO it with Rock Slide. Even if I'm burned, I 2 kill him if he's max HP. So that's very, very nice. Shout out to Sheer Force for being an amazing ability. Um, and yeah, Poison Jab does more to the uh, Sylveon, and I have Earth Power for Earthquake because there's a Mega Aggron, I want to do as much damage to the thing as possible. Um, so yeah, New Queen's just there to deal with a Sylveon, get up rocks, help with Talon Flame, uh, kind of wear down Mandibus so I can get get into something else while Roosts, because uh, Mandibus is actually really, really annoying to the team. Uh, I don't think he's going to bring Mandibus necessarily because he has other Pokemon that are better or more important, he doesn't need it. It's not bad against my team by any stretch of the imagination, but he doesn't need it for anything. That's my. That's how I look at it. He doesn't like Clefable is just a free switch in. Uh, you could taunt it, yes, but that's realistically not going to do too too much for him, except for getting give him a switch into Talonflame, which okay, sure. Um, yeah, I just don't think he's bringing Manibus. He can, but it's not as likely as pretty much everything else on his team. Uh, it's probably the least likely Pokemon, so um, if he brings Manibus, I'm gonna have to play around that, but I have ways of dealing with it for sure. Um, and yeah, I was gonna bring Taunt over Rock Slide, but I need I need a way of dealing with Talonflame, basically. I need something else that can deal with that thing, other than Rotom Wash, and that's gonna be Needle Queen. So these two need to stay healthy so that I don't lose to Talonflame, that'd be preferable. <laughs> so, um, next up we have Cordelia Deladius with the Leftovers. Levitate as the ability, Psyshock, Roost, T-Bolt, and Reflect-Type. Finally time for one of my favorite moves, Reflect-Type. Uh, special Defensive with 4 in Defense. Um, the thing, switch into Sarmi, switch into Roserade. I don't have any other switches to either of those. Um, I really, really don't. My team does not appreciate any of those two uh, too much. I mean, Sarmi, eh, World of Watch can kind of switch into it, but I need that for Talonflame. Um, Sarmi is probably like the, the third least likely Pokemon for him to bring. Um, like Golok, Bandabus are the least lucky ones, then it's, I think, Starmie, and then everything else. That's how I look at it. Uh, watch him just bring those three, and then three other Pokemon. That'd be great. Um, but yeah. Why, have, why do we have to set? T-Bolt is chip damage on Mega Aggron, chip damage on, um, Mandibuzz on Talonflame. It also means I can hit the Starmie for very, 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 very good damage. Um, and yeah, Reflect Type, though. If you don't know what Reflect Type does, I don't know what you've been doing with your life, but, uh, it means I copied my opponent's type. So, what does it do for me? I beat Mega Aggron. Remember what said I thought I said he was gonna bring? Heavy Slam, Toxic, Earthquake, Stealth Rock. A Reflect type Latias, a Steel type that levitates, is gonna beat that easily. It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna beat it eventually uh, because I have Roost. He doesn't have recovery. So unless he crits me a couple times, I should be fine. I can even get a T-Ball para, I guess, which doesn't do too much for me, but, you know, full paras are sweet. Um, so basically, I'm going to be able to beat Mega Aggron with Reflect-type. Mega Aggron is going to be his switch, uh, it's going to be his main switch into Latias. I'm very sure of that, because he's going to bring a Spec Sylveon, I am 100% sure on that. Or maybe Scarf Sylveon, but Offensive Sylveon for sure. Um, and yeah, Spit of Latias is good, because it gives me switches to things. Again, second week in a row, I'm bringing Spit of Latias, and second week in a row where it's incredibly important. Um... <laughs> Yeah, sad times. Uh, Ladias is kind of set up for a lot of Haxorus, but uh, I'll get into it in a second. Psyshock I need for Sylveon so I can hit the thing hard. Or not, I say hard. Harder. Uh, and with, with Respect type, I can potentially beat Spec Sylveon, which is ridiculous. Because if I'm Spidef, uh, he does like 53 max, I think. Roughly something like that. Uh, maybe a bit more. So I can potentially beat him 1v1. And that's going to be very, very nice. 
Uh, can also beat Mandibus because a Mandibus can touch a Mandibus if he doesn't have like Toxic. So that's nice. Uh, I can Reflect up on Starmie even so I can take less from Ice Beam. I guess that's an option. Um, Golurk doesn't do anything for me. Lantern doesn't do anything for me unless I want to dodge a thingy, an Ice Beam, but pretty pointless. Um, so yeah, Reflect up is good because Aggron and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Next up, oh boy. I was gonna bring the Fable first because I don't want him to just spam Bandit Outrage with Haxorus against my team, but I'm gonna talk about Haxorus for a second. Um, Haxorus is a huge threat to my team. To any team, let's be real. Haxorus is a fucking monster if you don't have a Skarmory. Um, or Manga Scissor, I guess. Uh, but I don't think he's bringing straight DD Life Warp. I just don't think that is happening when I have so much fucking priority. And a Clefable, which could easily be um, the Poison Berry. Kazeep is... is it Kazeep? Is Kazeep Ghost? I don't remember. The, the fucking Poison Berry. I forgot what it's called. Um, I've used it. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, I just don't think he's bringing DD Life or Haxorus. If he's bringing DD Haxorus, it's gonna be Yachi Berry. Because I have a Sneasel. Uh, potentially... Um, Chilan Berry for Kario, but it, it doesn't seem very smart in comparison to Yachi Berry. Um, he also has the option of bringing um, the thing, the, the thing. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, right, a uh, Hexrus. He also has the option of just bringing straight life orb offensive, just, just hole punching, wall breaking piece of shit, dude. And that is very very scary. Um, so I was gonna break the table just to prevent him from just clicking outrage, because Lucario absolutely does not want to take that. Uh, and right now I don't have a switch into Hexrus. I just don't. When Hexrus is in, I'm gonna have to see. What's the least, what's the most expendable member of my team? What does he do? And how can I prevent him from beating my team right now? Uh, I'm gonna have to think a lot when playing uh, when playing around Hexorus. It's by far the biggest threat to my team at this point. Um, so I want to Fable for that, so I can pack like Unaware so I can beat uh, Unnerf variants. <laughs> and the Poison Berry, which I again forgot what it's called right now. Uh, so I can take a Mold Breaker boosted, like a boosted Mold Breaker Hexorus's. Poison Jab, because more Breaker ignores Unaware. Um, also, also going to bring like Metal Herb, so I can ignore the Taunt from Talonflame and Toxic that. Something like that, that was a lot of options, but I figured in the end, uh, he has too many ways of just switching safely into Clefable and threatening my team. Um, like, I could run T-Wave, of course, but eh. Eh. In the end, I decided that, fuck it. Let's go with a different win con. Let's go, it's got another win con in here, and that is, of course... The, the debut of the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, Simon, the Simmies, yeah, shout out to Fisty. Charcoal has the ability, Blaze, uh, Charcoal has the item, Blaze has the ability, there we go. Fire Blast, Nasty Blood, HP Rock, and Grass Knot. Uh, enough speed to outspeed Haxorus, uh, rest in HP. The thing, uh, after some chip damage, I Oko Haxorus with Fire Blast at plus two, which is ridiculous. Uh, if I was Life Orb, I actually would kill him after rocks, <laughs> which is stupid. Um, Simmies is a monster. Um, that's without Blaze Boost, by the way. Uh, HP Rock is there to for the Talent Flame. If he is Spadef Talent Flame, I can live a hit uh, very relatively easily, which is another reason why I have Charcoal over Life Orb, so I can um, not get one down. Uh, kill with HP Rock, and everything will be fine and dandy. Uh, Grass Knot is there to hit Lantern and Golurk. Uh, I can have HP Grass, I'm running a, a Grass Knot. Grass Knot does nothing to Lantern, but it's something at least. It's some damage I can do to Lantern, and if it's worn down, I get off a Nasty Plot. I can win with the thing. Uh, if he doesn't bring Starmie, which again is one of the slightly less likely Pokemon to bring for him, uh, I can just click Grass Knot and he will die and it's gonna be... I can just click Nasty Plot and sweep his teammate game and it's gonna be fucking great. Um, I can actually set up on like a Nast on a Spec Sylveon, like I can switch in after something dies, live a hit, get up a Nasty Plot and then really really start punching holes to his team. Um, Lantern is a Pokemon I'm going to have to wear down. Uh, if he is a Rest variant, that's going to be a little bit problematic, but uh, Needle Queen can do a lot to that. Uh, Lucario can set up on it. Sneasel can do a decent amount with knockoff, and yeah, Ladias can eventually beat it potentially. So, uh, Lantern is going to be a problem 100%. But it's fine. This means he's going to be a really big win con. Uh, it, again, his speed tiers are weird, so I cannot speed almost everything on his team barring Starmie, Talonflame, and Scarfers. Which, his team doesn't have a good Scarf Rod. The only thing I can see is Scarf Haxorus. Because Scarf Rose Raid is not a good idea when I have a Lucario. Never lock yourself into a poison move when there's a Lucario on your opposing team. Just, you know, that's really important. Um, 
The yeah, Scarf Hex was the only thing I could really see, but again, Lucario just prevents Scarf Frost from being super duper viable because it can uh, just come in and be like, yo, you, you really, really don't want to click that move, do you? Um, <laughs> yeah, late game Scarf, Moldbreaker, Earthquake is definitely a problem if you want to look at my team, um, but I can live a hit with a couple things and revenge kill him with like priority and stuff. So yeah, um, Simmy is a threat, it's gonna be great. Grassland also Oko's uh, AV Golurk also some chip damage at plus two, and that's very nice. So last but not least, we of course bring in Nyx to Sneasel uh, with the life or pickpocket because he doesn't have anything can flinch me. Uh, knock off, ice shot, ice crash, and low kick. Just max max because he has stun me so I can speed tie with that uh, and potentially threaten it out. Uh, knock off does a lot to stun, it kills stun me obviously. Uh, it does a lot to pretty much everything on his team, barring Mandibuzz and Mega Agron. Um, and Sylveon, but Sylveon doesn't want to take knockoff plus Ice the Crash if it's offensive, so that's very, very nice. Uh, Caesar just does a lot of work to his team. Uh, he's probably going to bring Mega Aggron to deal with it, because it's the only way. Or he has, or he's going uh, to end up bringing defensive Sylveon, which I would be happy, because that means he's not going to be smack Sylveon, and I don't have to worry about switching into it so much. So, that's a thing. Um, yeah. Seal does a lot of work to his team. It's gonna be my check to Haxorus. It's gonna be a good just just having priority is nice. If he isn't max speed talent, I may have some more priority to pick it off. If it's low in health, uh, if he's like rock polish Golurk, I have not a way of priority hitting it. Uh, well, I have a way of hitting it with priority. Um, and yeah, low kick is just there to do a little bit of damage to Mega Agron because uh, everything else just does nothing. <laughs> so I decided let's get low kick on there, uh, do some damage to Mega Agron, and be happy camper. Uh, I could also change that to like SD, I could change it to Taunt for Mandibus, I could change it to Poison Jab for uh, Sylveon, but I think uh, Low Kick is overall the best option I have. Um, and yeah, that's that's that. That's the team. Um, Haxor is going to be a problem, Lantern is going to be annoying. Uh, everything else, if I don't let my Latias get weakened, or if Latias just doesn't get hacks again, which would be very, very sad, I should be fine. Talonflame is obviously always a threat, because the Talonflame is always going to be some kind of problem. Um, Golurk can definitely be an issue, uh, because my only real switch is Warden Wash. Uh, Mandibus can be annoying, so... Not the greatest of matchups for me, but I do think I have a lot of good threats to his team. Uh, the double setup core here, plus, plus Sneasel, plus Reflect type. Plus, just Nino Queen doing damage. Um, it's gonna be nice. Sword Watch is just gonna be there to check the Talon Flame. So I think I think I've built a pretty decent team here, um, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, match will go up whenever I haven't played yet, so I can't really say. Hopefully on the day after this goes up, maybe even on the same day. Who knows? Um, that's gonna be it for the team. Um, tell me what you think of the team. Uh, tell me what you, what you think I could have done better. Uh, what I could have done worse? I don't know. It doesn't help anyone. Uh, and yeah, tell me if you think that we can get revenge on Sam and go 3-1, and one, uh, have the same record as him, and that'd be fucking sweet. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave some nudes. I will appreciate it if you listen, hopefully. See you guys next time. Goodbye.